Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the derivative of a function that has an absolute value. So let's take a simple example. Let's take g of x equals the absolute value of 3x minus 5. So this function has a derivative everywhere except where this is equal to 0. So if you set 3x minus 5 equal to 0, you add the 5 and divide by 3 and you get x equals 5 thirds. So this function will have a derivative everywhere except where that piece is equal to zero. So everywhere except five-thirds. All right, so how do you find the derivative? Well, the first thing you do is you rewrite the function. So I'll write it again, 3x minus 5. And it turns out that the absolute value of x is equal to the square root of x squared. So you can rewrite this as the square root of, and then this is your x, so it's, parentheses 3x minus 5 squared. Now you can write the square root as something to the 1 half power. So this is 3x minus 5 squared to the 1 half. And then you just take the derivative using the chain rule. So g prime of x. So you just put the 1 half in the front, so 1 half parentheses, and then parentheses 3x minus 5 squared. And then you subtract 1, right? 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half times, and now you multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So here it's also another chain rule. So 2, 3x minus 5 times, and again, the derivative of the inside is 3. Let's recap that. So whenever you have a function with the absolute value, you basically use this little formula here. You take the absolute value and you write it as the square root of whatever's inside the absolute value squared. Then you can take the square root and write it to the one half power. And when you take the derivative, you just use the chain rule, right? You bring down the one half. Don't touch the inside. We subtracted one, we got negative one half times the derivative of the inside. That was another chain rule. So two and then three x minus five to the first power and then times the derivative of the inside, which was three. The twos cancel in this case, so we get g prime of x equals, I want to leave the 3 outside, so it's 3 times 3x minus 5 over, and what you can do is you can take this guy and you can bring it downstairs, and it becomes positive, right? So you end up with 3x minus 5 quantity squared, and all of this is to the 1 half power, right? So this is 3 3x minus 5. And then you, we can rewrite the bottom piece. The 1 half can turn back into that square root we, we, we liked that we had before. And so this is 3, 3x minus 5 over, and then that becomes the absolute value. So absolute value of 3x minus 5. And that is the derivative. That's it.